I'm Steve Grills. Today, I'm gonna show you what it takes to survive in Minecraftia. I've gotta make it through three games of survival games in the sort of places you wouldn't last a second without the right survival skills. Today, I'm in Minecraftia where the terrain is tough and the players are even tougher. Welcome to Mine vs Wild. The popular survival games. What class will we choose? Definitely the Axeman. We'll need the wood for shelter and fire. Everyone is here going for those chests. Don't be stupid, run away from everyone. That right there is a bloodbath. Even though the 13 year old boys, if threatened, they can be very dangerous. Look, a wild Minecraft account, very rare. If they spot you, they could be deadly. I will try to communicate by shifting. Hello. Hello. I'm saying hello in Minecraft. Stone axe, exactly what we need to make a shelter. Cut down wood, any wood you find will be useful. It looks like this wood is some kind of magic tree. I can't cut it down. I guess that means no shelter for tonight. Always approach running water with caution. You don't want to get caught up in rapids and get caught underwater and die. Swim downwards towards the end. If you find fish, maybe you can kill them and take their meat, babies. Hold your nose while going through water. You might get something lodged in there and that won't be comfortable. The water could also be poisonous. The way you know it's poisonous is if you die from it, then it's probably poisonous. That guy is dead. Maybe he should have taken Bear Grylls' guy to survive. <laughs> it looks like I found some cooked pork chop, a delicacy in the land of Minecraft. Eat it. Oh, you won't find many of these laying around. We found a bed. Sleep is essential when it comes to survival. Sleep as much as you can. That's enough. A stone sword and fishing rod. Exactly what we need to survive. Looks like I've been spotted. Time to fight back. Can we get something? There's two of them. I don't know if I can take them both. Just stop spam clicking. If you kill them, it could be your only resource to survive. Well, I thought those were cows, so I attacked them. It turns out I murdered two people. It's never too late to practice your mating calls. It could attract food, and that could be the difference between life or death. <laughs> Looks like there's a guy down there. Be very careful when base jumping. You don't want to hit any sharp rocks. Make sure to put on a helmet and dive head first. I Looks like I've spotted a war here. Time for my war cry. <laughs> it's time for them to die. He's got a bow. Be very careful. Swim diagonally and back and forth and he won't be able to hit you. I've got some raw beef in my inventory. Must be why he's so attracted to me. Or maybe because it's the cologne I'm wearing. Either way, he's right behind me. If you have a fishing rod, this will be great for getting them away. Hit, go away little fishy. I'm not interested in you little fishy. He's run away. It looks like we're in the clear. Bear Grylls, hashtag number one FTW. Now that I've healed up more, I could go again at this guy. Looks like he's hitting me again. Run away. Looks like I've died. But now I'm a ghost and I will haunt him for the rest of his life. Ooh. I'm Bear Grylls and this has been How Not to Survive in the Wild.